The airport art walk has once again returned to Santa Monica. 2014 marks the eighth year of this highly anticipated cultural event. And as in years past, the public was treated to music, food, fun, and of course, plenty of beautiful original works of art to browse and enjoy. Daniel Farias has the story. It was another beautiful sunny day in Santa Monica as the city hosted the 8th annual Airport Art Walk event at the Santa Monica Art Studios. Located on airport property, this 22,000 square foot structure was once an aircraft hangar, but was repurposed nine years ago to become a haven for the arts by providing much needed creative space for individual artists. Today, the building houses over 30 artists, leasing studio space in which they create their works. Most of the time, these studios are the private domains of each individual, but during the airport art walk, the building and all of its studio doors are open to the public, inviting everyone to enter this impressive creative nexus, tour the individual studios, and even interact with the artists themselves. The Santa Monica Art Studios comprise of 36 artist studios, great, great artists. I happen to be one of them. I do painting, sculpture, mixed media, photography. They're all kind of related and connected. And since you are visiting my studio, you see all the new together. It's pretty awesome. I really love meeting people in the community. And um, it's amazing how families come and um, there's new exposure to art and the importance of art and preserving art in our culture. They want a lot of information about basic. What's the yes. material? What's the art? Who's the artist? And uh, for me, it's very hard to also be the artist and also one of the directors. So Yorgita is here and she's actually to saving my people. time and yes. so I can talk with other people and share it. The, it's a lot of fun, public. that's for sure, because you talk to people, a lot of different people. It's very fun. The city of Santa Monica is well known for its involvement with the arts. In fact, over 40% of the population derive their businesses from the creative arts sector. That's six times the national average. So it's no surprise that, despite cutbacks in recent years, the city's Community and Cultural Services Department and its Cultural Affairs Division strive to produce events like the Airport Art Walk to celebrate the arts and the quality of life it provides to the residents of Santa Monica. The city is amazing. The cultural affairs, the city of Santa Monica, the airport management, this is the initiative to put this together. We do have our own yearly show. And every year they do it better and more precise and more elaborate. And uh, it's always, for us, the art is very exciting to have this amazing crowd coming in. Children and dogs and families. And it's like it's really great uh, festival of art, you know. As society gets faster and, you know, images and graphic art becomes really accessible on billboards and advertisements that having like a real art that you can see in front of you and experience and see artists who are expressing and um, communicating in those ways that we're actually preserving our own humanity. This year's event was bigger and better than ever, featuring hundreds of artworks displayed throughout four buildings, many of which were for sale. The Museum of Flying offered free admission, inviting the public to experience the art of aviation. There were theater performances, food trucks, and live music to get people into the groove. And no Santa Monica event would be complete without an eco-savvy spin. The airport's demonstration gardens offered free tours led by the landscape designers themselves, showcasing just how beautiful sustainable gardening can be. Guests of all ages were welcome to express their inner eco-artist with the Cans to Canvas exhibit, an interactive mural wall composed of recycled latex house paint, and the terrarium workshop provided guests with the materials and hands-on instruction on how to create their own self-watering terrarium out of recycled glass bottles or jars. With so much to see, do, and experience, the hours just disappeared. It was truly an amazing event, and all the more impressive that it was 100% free to attend. It's a super cool event because you never really have an opportunity to go to a place where like all doors are open and there's like 30 plus artists showing um, and it's, it's totally stimulating because not one artist is the same as another so you're it's like go, walking through a door and you're entering like all these worlds it's almost like traveling through through to different countries you know so you have a lot of uh, unique ways that you can have exposure to even like change your life a little bit you know? yeah 
Well, as you saw, the 8th Annual Airport Art Walk event was a rounding success, and if you missed it, you definitely missed out. But don't worry, you'll get another chance. They're already talking about year nine. For Santa Monica Update, I'm Daniel Farias. The Community and Cultural Services Department is always on the move. Creative workshops, cultural activities, and special events like the Airport Art Walk happen more often than you might think. For more info, check out their website at smgov.net slash ccs.